The goal is simple. Reach the NBA Finals. Achieving the goal, the challenge. Charles Barkley, a man capable of propelling the Phoenix Suns there solely on the strength of his ferocious, insatiable will. But even he has found that willpower alone is not enough, and the obstacles along the way can be infuriating. Standing ever more prominently in the way is Seattle's Sean Kemp, who has quietly emerged as his team's determined young leader. His acrobatic abilities matched by a fiercely competitive drive, leading his teammates by example rather than with histrionics. Today, these two wholly dissimilar men share the same simple goal, win one game and earn a place with the Chicago Bulls. At stake, the 1993 NBA Championship. Seven of the Western Conference Finals between the Seattle Supersonics and the Phoenix Suns. NBA's own D-Day. And here, the battle, the war for the West. The quickness, and there's almost a turnover. Is it, can it be saved? No, Barkley! Sir Charles hustles for his first points. John Kemp gets his first touch. He's well off. Barkley rebounds. The leader on the season. You'll see that slow motion effort by Derek McKee. Out of nowhere, sprints Barkley, and once he's got possession of the ball, it's an easy two over the top. Peyton well short. Some shooting elbows out there for Seattle. Spin to turn into the floor. Marley takes it inside and scores. Marley's first point. Skins has the hot hand. Doesn't hit that one. Eddie Johnson on the follow. Johnson's cold shooting throughout the playoffs continues in this quarter. Barkley on the rumble and the foul. Barkley with six. Has his fourth point. Chambers inside. Barkley follows. A half dozen for Barkley. He was positioning on the far side of the ball. Oh, Johnson way off the mark, but Barkley there as if it were a pass. They can't get him the ball off the set, so Barkley works the window and gets that one to go in as we go to a break. About shooting the, the Suns uh, considerably here in the second quarter. Barkley. Well, the Suns love to aggressively stand. Still get the deuce. He's got 10 in the quarter. Barkley. Back door on Sean Kemp and Barkley now with 16. The rule of defense is always know where the ball is, know where your man is. Sean Kemp got lost and it was an easy two for Charles Barkley. So in order to prevent this play, they needed pressure on the passer. They needed Kemp to be aware of where Barkley was. He wants to get started. Still can't hit. And Pierce and Barkley. And it'll go against the veteran from Seattle. Maybe in frustration, he's 0 for 4. Pierce's strength is at the offensive end. He missed another good, strong drive. And in trying to make a steal, just a little choke hold. Yeah, 
Phoenix Suns were down, they went to their main man, and it was Charles Barkley who really provided the spark. In that second quarter of play, you see his hand, give me the ball. Now, D does a great job of avoiding the double team, then diving back in, and that is what makes Charles Barkley so special, the ability to avoid contact. Second. You see Barkley got enough separation with his body to be able to get a good look. He was just about 10 feet away on. And it's West locked inside. Barkley gets it back and is five. Johnson hurrying into the offensive end. Barkley. And a foul. And Barkley says that's four on Kemp. Continues to have his trouble scoring. Barkley with his 11th rebound. He likes to go all the way. And a great pass to Chambers, and he is fouled. The spirit of Barkley fused throughout this Phoenix team this year. After he wrestled the rebound away, Sonics forgot that they're supposed to stop the ball. They let Barkley get in too deep, and now he finds Tom Chambers. They pick up another personal foul, Ricky Pierce. And there's plenty of time, and they've got to figure out a way to get the ball and score. And a turnover and a foul against Pierce. Foul on Pierce. Pierce tried to enter the ball from a bad angle. Then, in trying to hustle out of the mistake, was Kemp and McMillan on the floor for Seattle. And the defensive energy of the, the Sonics has been broken. That's only the eighth turnover. Johnson blocked. That was Barkley coming out to challenge. Johnson, who feels it, and he thought he had a good shot right there. Watch Barkley come to get a piece of that. That's one of the strengths of Barkley, is being able to rise and get the ball after it's released. Millen resets. Way short. Barkley with a rebound. Plenty of time for Phoenix. Eight seconds, and now a foul. Peyton and Barkley exchange words. And there are not pleasantries. I got the you part. <laughs> Barkley is telling him, you found me. And uh, plus he's telling you too little to come over and talk on my shoulder. First, partially blocked. And he comes right back to Chambers. Look at Barkley fight for the rebound. Barkley, a man possessed inside. He's able to get position and at the same time keep people off of him and stay after the ball. John Kemp, rebound Barkley. Barkley with 16 boards. They'll go right to Barkley with Kemp with five. Johnson, Barkley with his 17th rebound. Barkley, he hasn't had a three, does now. 184. Barkley again. In the right place to cash in. 36 for him. Charles Barkley missed the first quarter, but he has shown up since then. And here in the fourth quarter, again, he's putting his footprint on it as he hits the three-pointer. Now watch him slide in underneath the block by McKee. Barkley able to hold his position, put it in with the left hand. Perkins giving Barkley room. Now Barkley sees a hole and a reach-in foul. John Kent way outside as Barkley challenges and then goes to collect the rebound. Number 19. It's Ames for the three. And Barkley, amongst the sea of green, able to come up with a rebound. To let the Sonics get anything. Barkley inside, positioning himself. He sees where the ball is, gets it before anyone else, and then maintains his presence and gets it out when he's on the floor. And he has dominated this ball game, and it, the Sonics just have not been able to wait to contain Charles Barkley. 
Barkley is in the 40s. That's been the story. Uh, Barkley has been able to get the ball and do what he wanted, and Sean Kemp trying to stay in the game has had to give him the room to shoot the ball. Barkley, one of the finals. Chambers. Barkley doesn't get that rebound, then takes it away from McMillan and draws another foul. Oh, my. That is why this man is the league's MVP. In past years, this is what's been missing for the Phoenix Suns, a guy who is relentless, who just won't let you lose. And this is the opportunity that Charles Barkley has been dying for. Symbolically, Kim fouls out, and Barkley goes to score more. He went to Westinghouse High School in Chicago. The last shot. And the Phoenix Suns are the champions of the West for only the second time in the history of this franchise. Charles, you had a monster game. You guaranteed victory. You've had an eventful year, a gold medal, a trade to Phoenix. You had the MVP award, and now a trip to the finals. Where does it rank? Well... All that stuff is great, but I came to Phoenix for one reason, and it wasn't just to get to the finals. The Bulls are a great team, and uh, we know we can beat them. They know they can beat us, so it's going to be a great series. You just seemed determined not to get beat today. You just picked up the team and carried them on their back. What were your thoughts? Well, I, I didn't feel like we were going to lose. I, was not, I believe we we're going to win the World Championship. I believe that all year. I think we got the best team in the world, and I'm glad we're playing Chicago because they're the best, but we feel like we're going to win this team. We felt like that all year. You have a message for your dream team teammate, Michael Jordan? Well, the son of, uh, he called me yesterday and wished me luck and told me to take the ball to the basket, and I tried to do that. He's my friend. He's my brother, and I love him, but we're going to play a lot of golf this series. Right. Congratulations, Charles. <laughs> you do that, was coming. Two bald bulls, one from Chicago, one from Phoenix. Barkley and Jordan go at it in the finals. We'll return to the America West arena after this.